All right, guys, so we are going from something very cloudy to something very not cloudy. I thought I was going to have something funny there, but as I started talking, I realised I didn't have anything to say. Therefore, I kind of made an arse of it. I do apologise. Let's start again. Start again, Paul. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Vape Don't Smoke. It's Paul here. We're going from something cloudy to something not so cloudy. Was it funnier the second time? Guys, let's dive down and check out the bore. Bore. Blask. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Either whiskey for breakfast. All right, guys, let's check out this up close. Now, this is the Bore Flask. Um, I'm saying Bore here, but it's B O H R. I'm not sure how you say that. But I'm going with bar, uh, so hopefully I'm right. Uh, and this is the flask. Uh, and this is a little pod system, but this pod is different. Let's just start there. When you open up the box, guys, it's in a little plastic wrapper. Uh, let's not get excited about that. We've got a little sponge thing going around it. Right, okay, manual instruction book, like, that's fine. Um, all the usual kind of bits and bobs, guys. Nothing too exciting. We've got some coils. Ooh, things are starting to get a little bit better. We've got coils. We've also got a USB charging cable, and that's everything that comes in the box. Um, with the exception, obviously, of your bore flask. Now, I'm not sure how this is a flask. Um, you know, this is certainly not what I would say is designed after a flask in any way whatsoever, but you can see it's kind of got that brushed finish, the mines is black, it does come in a couple of different colours, but there's a, there is a brushed finish to it, we've got bore here, uh, your mouthpiece up here, uh, around here we've got our USB charging port, a little bit there for a Leonard, uh, over the other side, another Leonard part, and we've also got our up and down buttons. Um, now, guys, this is 90 millimeters top to bottom. It's point five, it's 5.5 millimeters in thickness. It's got an 1150 more battery built in, and the pod capacity, which I'll show you in a second, is two mil, uh, and it's made of aluminium and plastic. Now, the pods themselves um, are pretty simple, pretty basic. You know, it's, it's your usual kind of pod system. Uh, but we do have a push fit coil. Now, I'm not going to pull that coil out because my pod is full of juice. Uh, but we do have a 1.2 ohm ceramic coil in there right now. And that is ideal for mouth to lung vaping. Um, the spare coil that we get is a mesh coil. It's 0.4 ohms. Uh, they say it's ideal for sub ohm vaping. I'm not buying that. They both look exactly the same. Exactly the same. You can see there's little airflow bits at the side there. Non-adjustable really to be honest. You can, I've tried twisting the coil to kind of close up the airflow even more but that did really didn't make any difference to be honest. Uh, and we do have a little rubber grommet here. Yep, it's got a rubber grommet. Not my favourite filling method. Uh, the little silicon plug or rubber plugs, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I mean I've not had any real issues with that but that's kind of the reason why I'm not a fan. Um, you always get seepage uh, because when you pop it open, your finger touches the other side that's been touching the e-liquid then when you go and push it back down again, you've got wet fingers and I just wish we would come up with a better filling method than this, but uh, that's it. Now that goes in there really, really snug. We will do the whip test up top, but no qualms with that whatsoever. Uh, it's in there nice and tight. Uh, we'll talk about how that vapes later on, guys, but you can see here uh, we do have a screen uh, rocking and rolling on this one. Which is the first for me. Uh, I haven't seen this on a pod before, but we do have a screen. Uh, now, the screen itself is also the fire button. So, that is a little bit squeaky right now. But, yeah, that is your fire button. We'll talk more about that up top. Uh, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will switch the device off. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Switches it back on again. And then we can go up in 0.1 watt increments all the way up to 20 watts. Now that is in watts guys, one, two, three will take us to volts. One, two, three puts you in play mode and play mode is basically power curve mode. Uh, I had a little play about with it. It's not the best of modes. Uh, I've been rocking this in watts just fine. Um, 
but yeah, I, I, I'm digging that. I, I like that. Yeah, 20 watts. My goodness. The first box mod I ever had was actually went up to 11 watts. Now we're getting 20 watts in little pod systems. Uh, I think they've done well with this one, guys. Let's talk about it more up top when we have a vape. And there you go, guys. That was a close-up look at the Bore Flask. I don't know why I'm holding it like this, but I am. Uh, the Bore Flask from Bore Vape. Apologies if I'm saying it wrong, but B-O-H-R to me spells bar. Um, I'm sure you're already typing up something in the comments to correct me, guys. And I love every one of your comments, so please do continue to type. Uh, we're going to call it the bar of flask. It was sent on by Bar Vape for the purpose of this review. www.barvape.com. Of course, no links in at the description because I'm not allowed to. Uh, because that's naughty. That's naughty. We're not allowed to be naughty anymore on YouTube. I uh, don't want about YouTube. Don't want about YouTube. Right, guys, where am I? I've got notes here. I've got notes, but I've got, I've just reviewed something else, uh, and I'm looking at the wrong notes. <laughs> so when I say things like "woo power" arr, arr, and "cloud for days," you realise I'm looking at the wrong notes. Ah, uh, right, guys. In all seriousness. This is not shit. Um, I actually had a little play about with this. Now, I've not played about with it for 10 fucking days and tried out 16 coils and put builds in it and tried 17 different flavours. I'm not going to tell you that it's better with custards than it is with tobaccos and the sweetness of the berries come through more than the coolness of the aniseed because that is bollocks. Um, but I have used it enough that I can give you my opinion on it. So let's have a little vape first. Um, what is in it? Ah, uh, this is it actually. This just here. Smoothie. Maya Waya. Whatever the hell that is. Let's vape. Well, that's shit. That was shit. Let's turn it up. Got a proper vape. Oh, oh, look at that. We get juice all over the coil. How did that happen? I know how it happened, obviously. I'll tell you in a minute. Uh juice it's like really 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 in this day and age we can't get coils that don't soak up the juice to the point where you spit it out all over your fucking face there we go right guys let's talk about the boar the Bore Flask. First of all, I'm not sure why it's called the Flask. Um, that's not a flask to me, but I might be missing something. Uh, guys, what do I like about this? Well, the vape quality is pretty damn good once you get past the spit back. Um, the spit back will happen overnight. It will happen when you're at your lunch. It will happen when you're not vaping on this. For about 25 minutes, uh, the coil does absorb that juice and you do have to clear the coil before you vape again. So basically, anytime you take a break, I've noticed you get spit back, which is a bit of a pain in the arse, and it's not really great at this day and age. Um, however, once you get past that, I would say that the vape quality is very good. It's a tight draw. It's perfect for mouth to lung. You get good flavour. You get a nice vapour cloud, and all in, the vape quality is what I would expect from a pod system. Now, you can argue all day if this is actually a pod. I mean, we've got variable wattage, we've got variable voltage, we've got their version of a play mode, we've got removable coils, all in, we've actually got a fire button as well, if you want to throw that into the mix. All in, is that a pod? Well, they're calling it one, so who am I to argue? Um, but the overall vape quality is up there with the better pods that I've actually tried in terms of a mouth to lung vape after you get past that spit back, which is, of course, a pain in the arse. Uh, as far as this little box mod goes, or this little pod system goes, I love the fact that we do have variable wattage, variable voltage. Their play system was, yeah, okay. But to have the ability to adjust the wattage, especially up to 20 watts, I thought was quite nice. We've obviously seen variable wattage before in a pod system, but you tend to get preset settings, whereas this 
is giving you the choice all on your own, which I thought was fantastic. Really, really good, positive, and it's right up my alley. I love the fact that we've got a fire button, although this fire button is a little bit misplaced for me. Uh, you're pushing on your screen, which is a little bit funky, uh, and you do have to kind of give it a pretty good push to get the damn thing to fire. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a little bit weird to have it there, but it's still a fire button and it still works. Uh, one, two, three gives you access to your menu, five clicks switches it on and off, so very, very easy. As far as the build quality goes, I mean, the outer shell is fine, the pod system itself is fine, um, the filling port is that little silicon plug, I'm not a fan of that. Um, but the overall build quality, is, it, it's fine, it's not super duper fantastic, because yeah, you're getting a gurgling coil, you're getting a little bit of spillage when you're filling it, uh, and you're, the fire button's a little bit tough, so the, the build quality is not excellent, but it's not shit either, I mean, it's, pre it's made um, pretty durable as well, um, and, and yeah, it's pretty responsive when you do have your up and your downs, etc, etc. Uh, so overall, the build quality is not bad. Um, I, as I've mentioned, I do enjoy the screen. I think that's quite nice. I think the future of pods is probably bringing them out to be more variable wattage. And I think Bohr have obviously got a, a, a step ahead on that case. Um, as far as how it looks, I mean, that's going to be your taste as a flask. Not really. Um, it's just a little pod with one of those stupid drip tip mouthpieces that are enormous. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, eh, eh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure on the looks, it's pretty boring really, isn't it? Pretty boring. Boring. I don't know. What do you think? You've got gems and pods and diamonds and, you know, all that fun stuff and this is just kind of like a bottle of juice really, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> a 1150 more built in battery is absolutely fantastic, you don't have to worry about that. We've also got a whole bunch of protection, which is very, very important, especially if these are aimed at new beginner vapors. You get switch timeout protection, whatever that is, overcharge protection, over temperature protection, over discharge protection. I'm going to stop saying protection now. Over uh, output, over current, and short circuit uh, is also in there. Uh, we do get two coils right out of the box. I do like that. I like the fact that we've got interchangeable coils. For me, that's better than pod systems. It's less wasted. It's better for the environment and all that stuff as well um, because that is really important to me. And yeah, uh, all in, not bad. But how much does this not bad little pod cost? So if we do a little quick search for Bor Flask as Oscar fights somebody at the window, uh, go out and kick some ass, Oscar. Um, you're distracting me. Uh, how much are you, little flask? Uh, I cannot find it anywhere. Uh, had I known this, I would have searched it before I started. Uh, yeah, this is embarrassing. Okay, that's plan A. What's plan B, Paul? Just start... Start singing a song, start singing a song. We're leaving today. I can't find it anywhere. So I have no idea how much it costs. Uh, yeah, um, not, not, not good. I can't find it anywhere. Um, let's check out that one. And if I hit that there and then hit... Uh, nah, it's not there. This is the... I've spent more time looking for it than I have actually talking about it. Uh, yeah, I can't find it anywhere online. So I've no idea how much it costs. Uh, let's just take, say if it costs $20, it's excellent. If it costs $150, it's shit. Uh, so yeah, you make your decision up anywhere in between that. In all seriousness, guys, right, I will be super serious here. This is not bad. It is pretty good once you get past that gurgling coil. Uh, if they could make a couple of little adjustments to this, like the coils, like the fire button, uh, maybe a version 2, I think this could be the way forward. I think variable wattage is fantastic on a pod system. Um, I mean, you've got watt voltage and all that stuff as well, but I mean, just variable wattage is fine with me. Um, and it's a, got a good battery in here, good tank capacity, and it's got coils, and I think that's pretty good. It is pretty good, however, I'd love to know how much it costs. Guys, if you want to check it out, you can check it at borvape.com. However, it doesn't tell you how much it's going to cost over there either. So this is pretty pointless. 
Ah, uh, very, very sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's just say Bar Vape charged twenty two dollars and fifty cents, and you get a big thumbs up from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and as always, guys, vape don't smoke.